Yeah, a lot of times the wildlife can damage the um, leaves on the sunflowers. And um, I tried um, mending mine with some um, string that I got at the Dollar Tree. It's, uh, it's like, like a, a twine. And uh, most of them were successful. Uh, this one had broken off right here. And that one successfully healed. Whereas Is that gonna, that's kinda hard then. You can see where I have it tied up right there. Now just recently, uh, one uh, broke up there. A bird landed on it or something. I used, uh, these I got from, uh, yeah, I used to buy a lot of crystal geyser water and they've got the and a unique way of putting handles on it. They tape the, these white straps on there, and they hold amazingly well. But I, I don't, you know, when you recycle them, I just rip those off, and then I just uh, they come in handy for things like this. And I used it to uh, to uh, basically put a band-aid on the, you know, help the prop the branch back up of the leaf. And it's doing very well, and it's an autumn beauty mix with multiple heads, so I really didn't want that, want that one to go to waste. And uh, it's just starting to come in. Uh, there's one, of, there's the first head right there. Very, very tall uh, sunflower. There's some bees on it right now, and more heads are coming in, so I like to try to save as many leaves as possible so the the tree can stay as healthy as possible. There's about three or four of them that I uh, repaired on this one. Uh, some of them don't make it. This one didn't make it right here. I, you can see where it's... I'll have to cut that. Now I was going to cut it off, but these leaves are doing good, so I think I'll just leave it like that. Let me see. Here's another one. Now I don't know... I forgot what, what I planted where, so I'm just waiting for them to come up to see what um, see what's what, what what they are, what uh, make they are. Um, now this one I really had to do a lot. This is another tall one. This is my tallest one here, and I and like I said, I don't know what it is yet. Maybe a multiple head or just a single head. Very tall, wide broad leaves. I had to really string this one up because the birds were landing on or chipmunks or squirrels were crawling up on. Now here's uh, these three in particular I did uh, which which now the middle one didn't heal well. This one healed very well right here. I wish the focus would clear up but if I back off. This one healed very strong um, this one healed strong right up there. Um, this one just happened recently, the one in the middle, and that, that one did not, uh, take. It was a pretty bad break, so. Oh, it's still hanging in there. Yeah, it's, it's kind of dying, but it's still, still, uh, it's still, uh, providing a little, uh, to the plant. Um, the dwarfs are doing well. That's one thing you don't have to worry about with dwarfs. Uh, usually the, the birds like to land on the taller ones. This one uh, was a single head that they did eat the head off. And I don't even know what this was because since the head didn't, uh, head didn't show, I, I couldn't uh, couldn't name it because I'm because I'm naming them when the heads show so I could see what they are right here the head was uh, eaten a few weeks ago and and I just let it grow I didn't want to uh, cut it down here's uh, 
what I think is a Maximilian. I ordered about uh, seven seven seed varieties, and uh, it's about six feet tall. I've already cut a few heads off it, but um, this I didn't have too many problems with. I uh, I um, I did uh, mend the mend the branch branches on these. This one and this one. And I did, did that one too, so. Uh, this one, uh, once again, uh, sometimes it doesn't work out. And this one, you have to do it just right. It's still hanging in there, this branch, but. Um, I didn't. Uh, I'm just learning how to do this, and uh, I just didn't want to just assume that they were a total loss and then just cut the leaves off totally. I wanted to try and get them to, to heal, and, and most of them did. Um, the wildlife wrecked about, about half of them. I had uh, eight of them out here. And four of them were broken in half, but then I then I put all the uh, uh, the natural cures that I found on the internet: cat litter, cat hair, human hair, vi vinegar, whatever I could find, orange peel rinds, whatever I could find. You can just look on the internet, and whatever I could find, I put on there, and that worked well until it it, it rained, and I forgot to redo it again, and then um, and then they took another one down and broke that in half, so. It's been okay since. Um, but I just wanted to let people know that the, these uh, the branches can be healed, and it's worth it's worth a try. You have to obviously have to be careful. When I was uh, fixing this one yesterday, <clears throat> I accidentally rested my my hand on a healthy branch, and I broke that. So. You want to be careful of that. And it looks like this This was the one um, I don't, it's just barely hanging in there. I don't think it's going to make it. Um, but that was the one I think I was trying to fix that one. And over here there was a branch and, and it just, I just totally broke it off about 90%. So I just, that one I just cut off and then try to fix it. Okay, so if anybody was ever thinking of uh, wondering if it, the, the, the branches of the leaves could be repaired, yes, they can be, and I've had about, I don't know, at least a 75% success rate. Let me see if I can bring in what they look like. Now, this isn't, this isn't focusing that good, but you can see where it's healed there, or it's brown right there. And like uh, uh, any type of break injury, it's actually stronger right there. Let me see if I can. It's actually stronger right there. You can see where it. But that's a real healthy. Uh, oh. It healed 100%. Uh, okay, bye.